Hi, my name is Sohan and in this video I'm going to show you how to build real-time speech analytics and sentiment analysis into a customer support center using Amazon Connect. In fact, why don't I just show you a demo? Hello, hi. I'm calling because I need help with my computer. My computer is not starting and I think there's a problem. Uh, can you please help? So let's dive straight in. Okay, so in this demo, we're first going to create an Amazon Connect instance. We will then use a cloud formation template to create things like uh, Lambda functions, hook it up to comprehend, translate, S3, DynamoDB, uh, and all of that is part of the cloud formation template. And then of course, we will test it out. So go ahead and uh, go to your AWS management console and click on Amazon Connect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new Connect instance. So click the Get Started button. Say I work for a company called XYZ, so you can add a access URL to your customer support center. I will call it customer support XYZ for now, but feel free to use any name you'd like. Okay, hit the next step button. You can skip this step for now, but it's always nice to add an admin user later. Make sure your incoming and outbound calls are checked before hitting the next step button. All right, so this gives you some addresses to where your call recordings are stored on S3. Hit the Create Instance button, which will go ahead and create your Amazon Connect instance. This usually takes about a minute or two. And once it's created, hit the Get Started button. Now, this is how your Amazon Connect instance looks like. And we, we'll be coming back here for further configurations. Uh, before that, though, you should claim a phone number. This is the phone number your customers will call uh, to be the first point of contact for your customer support. So choose an appropriate phone number. Uh, for now, I'm choosing one in the United States, but feel free to use in any other region as well. All right, so we're going back to the customer, uh, to the Connect instance that we created, and we're gonna configure it now. So go to the data streaming uh, option on the left menu, sorry, the data storage option on the left menu, and hit the edit button. Make sure you enable live media streaming. This is because this Connect instance is hooked up to Amazon Kinesis, uh, which is why you need to enable live media streaming. Just provide a prefix name. I'm gonna call it XYZ stream for now. Make sure you select a KMS master key. If you hit the drop down button, there is a key by default. So make sure you check that. All right, you can choose how long you want the data to be retained. We are going to leave it as a default as one day, but that is completely your choice. So once you hit that, hit the save button. Again, make sure you hit save in the section as well. Now, this is the overview of your connect instance. Take a note of the instance ARN and the directory because we will be needing that in a short while. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the CloudFormation template link, which is in the description, so ch check that. This is the documentation for the CloudFormation template. There is a launch solution button, which essentially launches the CloudFormation template. Again, CloudFormation, as you know, will take care of creating this entire solution for you. But before that, we have to configure it. So again, copy the instance ARN, which is not the entire ARN, but just the ID part and paste it in your CloudFormation template under instance ID. Also for the instance alias, make sure you paste the directory name of your Amazon Connect instance. So just copy that and there we go. You can configure things like your S3 website bucket name, your call audio bucket name, your audio file prefix. Again, feel free to give any names you'd like, but make sure it conforms to the rules of naming S3 buckets. 
you also need to give the name of the test mono audio bucket that where the audio file is stored and hit the next button again you can specify things like tags and iam permissions but make sure before you create the cloud formation template check the iam resources box and click the create stack button now this step usually takes about five minutes uh, you can actually see each step that's been created with the view nested button on the left there um, it actually shows you each and every process and the status of each process so when everything is completed that means your cloud formation stack has been deployed you can hit the refresh button to you know see the status of how this is deploying Once that's done, we need to open S3 because the CloudFormation template stores a couple of contact flows for your Amazon Connect instance. So go to S3 and look for XYZ underscore company audio. That's the name I gave earlier. But look for two files, the KVS streaming sample flow. Download that and then go back to the earlier folder and look for the agent whisper streaming sample flow. Those are the two files that have been created there. There you go and make sure you download these two files. These are two contact routing flows that you will import to connect later on. All right, so it's been downloaded to your local system. All right, so now we're going back to our Amazon Connect instance and we're going to actually import those two flows. So on the left menu, Make sure you click on the routing button and click on the contact flows button. This will show you the list of contact flows that are available to you in Amazon Connect. Click on the little drop down next to create contact flow and click on the create agent whisper flow. This is the flow when someone calls your number before a customer service agent picks it up and yeah, hit the import button to and click on the agent whisper streaming flow. Select and hit import and once that's done, you can hit the save and publish button. As you can see, this defines the processes when someone actually calls your contact center. You can see also things like the lambda that's hit and so on in this particular contact flow. Hit the save and publish button and you should be done. Now again, go back to contact flows because we also have to import the other contact flow that we have downloaded. So again, we're just going to click the create contact flow button this time. Click on the little drop down, hit import flows and click on the KVS streaming sample flow. Import that, hit save and publish. Again, if you look closely at this template, you can see the processes that goes through, including calling the earlier agent whisper contact flow when this happens. And we're going to publish that. So now we have imported these two contact flows. We need to associate that with the phone number that we have actually chosen earlier. What you do is click on the routing option and then the phone numbers button and next to the phone number that you had specified earlier, make sure you choose the call agent whisper flow. Right. So look for that, look for the KVS streaming sample flow. That's what we had named it and hit the save button. So now that KVS streaming sample flow is associated with this particular phone number. So now you know that when someone calls this number, they will be into that flow that we've just imported. We're going back to our cloud formation template now to actually see how the website that look and this is the website that a customer support agent will look at to see the analytics from the call they're at. So under the outputs tab, you will find a link under CloudFront endpoint, paste that link. You may see this 403 error, which is fine because that's just, a, that's just a configuration in CloudFront. So what you do is just go to CloudFront and it's a small change in settings. Essentially, again, CloudFormation has deployed this. So what you do is go to the restrictions tab and just see if there is a geo restriction. Click on the geo restriction, click on the edit button and you can choose to disable geo restriction or depending on where your customers are, enable geo restriction accordingly. Again, for the purpose of the demo, we are just disabling it for now. And you will find that in about two to three minutes, this would be updated and you can actually uh, access this website. 
You now want to associate this particular endpoint with your Amazon Connect instance that you've created. So copy that URL and go back to your AWS management console and click on Amazon Connect. In the application integration section, click on the add origin and paste this link. Again, make sure to paste only the base URL and not the index.html part or else it won't allow you to add it. Yeah, just add it and now that particular URL is, is associated with this connect instance. Let's go to that URL and actually see what happens. Okay. As you can see, this is a dashboard that your customer support agents will look at whenever they receive an incoming call. So in this case, we're getting a call and the customer is going to be talking to a customer support agent and in real time, you will see the transcript of what the user is saying. Just a pro tip, if you have things like ad block or any sort of extensions, just make sure you remove them or sometimes this doesn't work. Yeah, and so this is exactly what a customer is saying. You can see a translation, I've chosen the language English, but you can change the language to any language and you'll also see a real time translation. You can also see the emoji change depending on the customer sentiment. So if a customer is really angry and you would have seen that briefly in the video as well, when they said, I have a problem, it would have changed. Sometimes if the customer is very happy, like now you will actually see the emoji on the screen change to indicate customer sentiment. Of course, you can customize this to, you know, have like percentages or different uh, progress bars, maybe to look at customer sentiment as well. Now a customer is saying something like, uh, thank you very much, this was helpful. And you can see the emoji change now to indicate really good customer service and good customer sentiment as well. So this was a demo of AI powered speech analytics for Amazon Connect. Now, like I said, uh, this is very, very powerful and feel free to modify this particular solution or use any of the other AI services offered by AWS in conjunction with this uh, in your customer support. Hope this was of help to you. Uh, again, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, LinkedIn, or GitHub. My addresses are given right here. And I'd love to see what you've built. Thank you very much. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Thank you.